Hello and welcome back to StepbyStepGuitarTuition.com. This is the seventh lesson in the Step 6 module. In this lesson I'll go back over one of the finger style patterns that we looked at in the previous modules and I'll expand on it by introducing uh, minor seventh chords. We'll begin by looking at the finger style pattern that I showed you in Step 3, Lesson 7. If you remember it goes something like this. this exercise we're going to use the same pattern but we'll also introduce minor 7th chords that I showed you at the beginning of this module. So the chords I'm going to use today are A minor, A minor 7, E and E7. Remember the secret to this pattern is keeping the steady bass line going with your thumb on the beat like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then plucking the third and the second string on the off beats like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. For the A minor and the A minor seven chord, start with the fifth string, followed by the fourth, and then the sixth, and the fourth again, and repeat. Fifth, fourth, sixth, fourth, fifth, fourth, sixth. Fourth, and then try to introduce the uh, second and third strings on the offbeats. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. Let's start with the fifth string, followed by the fourth, the sixth, and the fourth, and repeat. Fifth, fourth, sixth, fourth, fifth, fourth, sixth, fourth, and then add your first and second fingers on the. Third and second string on the off beats. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. For the E chord and the E7, start with the sixth string, and then the fourth, then the fifth, and the fourth. Sixth, fourth, fifth, fourth, sixth, fourth, fifth. Fourth, and again try to introduce the third and the second string on the off beats. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. Let's start with the sixth string, followed by the fourth, the fifth, and the fourth again. Sixth, fourth, fifth, fourth. And then add the G and the B string in with your first and second fingers on the off beats. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. Now let's try putting that together in the following sequence. Two bars of A minor, two bars of A minor seven, two bars of E, and two bars of E seven. And I'm gonna play along with a metronome which I've set to 100 beats per minute. So after four, one, two, three, four, A minor, A minor seven, E, E seven, back to A minor, A minor seven. For this exercise we'll use the chords D minor, D minor 7, A minor, A minor 7, E and E7. Let me show you how this one's going to go. Okay. So for the D minor, 
minor and the D minor 7 chord start with the 4th string bass note then the 3rd string then the 5th and then the 3rd again so it's 4th, 3rd, 5th, 3rd 4th, 3rd, 5th, 3rd and then bring in the off beats on the top 2 strings and on the D minor 7 the same thing Start with the fourth string, followed by the third, the fifth, the third, fourth, third, fifth, third, and then on the off beats, use your first finger on the second string and your second finger on the first string. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. Two and three and four and and for the A minor chord, start with the fifth string and then the fourth and then the sixth and the fourth again. So that's fifth, fourth, sixth, fourth, and bring in the off beats on the second and third strings. One. Two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. And for the E, sixth string, then the fourth, then the fifth, and then the fourth again. Sixth string, fourth, fifth, fourth. And bring in the offbeat on the second and third strings. One, two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and. Okay, and we'll play them in the in the following sequence: D minor, D minor seven, D minor, D minor seven, and then A minor, A minor seven, A minor, A minor seven, and then two bars of E and two bars of E seven. And we'll try the metronome. You could also try the same sequence. We'll replace the E and the E7 for E minor and E minor 7. My metronome is set to 100 beats. So after 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, D minor, D minor 7, D minor, D minor 7, A minor, A minor 7. A minor, A minor 7, 2 bars of E, 2 bars of E7, back to the beginning, D minor, D minor 7, D minor, D minor 7, A minor, A minor 7, A minor, Seven E E seven E and M. Now you can hear how using all five chord families, majors, minors, dominant sevenths, minor sevenths, and major sevenths and combining them with different finger style patterns can add interest to simple chord progressions. You should practice them very slowly and accurately aiming to repeat the patterns consistently without making mistakes. And why not experiment and make up your own variations on the patterns and sequences that I've shown you. You can find the patterns that we've looked at today in the notes that accompany this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in lesson 8 where we'll look at the note names of the first five frets of the second string. So I hope to see you then.